。おーい。おーい。こんにちは。兄が。あ、um,、キー。サムティンキー。おー。ああ。大きな声で、um, 首かけた。So that'd be, Kubi looks like、um, this, but it has to line up there because I'm, I'm trying it upside down. That's Kubi,、mm. which is neck. This isn't neck. This has to do with our the voice,、mouth. the mouth. Hmm. You got it right earlier when you saw it on this page. You were、oh, like, it's、mm -hmm. Yep, it's Yobu. So now it's yobi kaketa. So kaketa. this is an example of a compound verb in Japanese. We got yobu up here and kakeru on the bottom, and they mash them together to make a slightly different meaning than if they were either on their own. So yobi kaketa basically means to call out to. So it kind of means that you're kind of far away from somebody. And you're kind of wanting to start a conversation. So that's not just saying hi and bye. Nobi Kaki Do is normally like, hello. And then you're supposed to walk over and be like, how is your day? What are you doing? Blah, 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 blah. It's kind of, so Kaki Do、oh, means to begin a, a conversation. Just unplug my thing. Oh, no. Kikoi Do? All right, yes, I can、oh, hear you. Nice. So, kakeru basically means to start a conversation, and yobu means to call. So, together it means to call out to. You're like, hey, listen to me. So, let's start the translation. Oi, konnichiwa. Any ga. Oh, no, it's back. Failed、ah. to text speaker. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um. Back. Okay, yes, I can hear it now.、Oh. Okay, okay, let's, let's set the translation then. Okay, what does it say? <laughs>、mm. Which one?、Uh, the, 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 the whole thing. Oh, Oi, konnichiwa.、Okay. Um, hey, basically. Just、yep. saying hey. Just hey. Hey, hey. hello. Hello. Ani, okina, koe de. So. Annie's voice, Koide, um, Yobi Kakete. So Annie is basically calling someone. Yes. She's, She's、yeah. calling out to somebody. Um, In the context, it's the Putteradan that is underneath the treehouse staring at them. Putteradan's like, oh. And Annie's like, Konnichiwa. Um, So this De right here, Is the tool or means to,、uh, means de. So this is saying the way in which he does the verb, which is yobi kakeru, to call out, he does it in a okina koi, which is a loud voice.、Mm. So he's basically screaming really loudly out of the window. <sighs> okay.、Um, what's this word? Mm. Let's see. This is not hon. Not hon. Different one. It is a ko. 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 So originally in the story, this was used when Annie was talking about the putra don. She was like, Ja, ano ko mo maboroshi da te ino? Which is like, Oh, in other words, you're saying that that ch child is also an illusion, also a maboroshi. That's what that ko can mean, child. Kodomo is basically human child, not like with the kanji, but that's like what it means. So you wouldn't really use kodomo for like a puppy or anything like that. Those have their、yeah. own words, like inu is dog, but ko inu is ko puppy. Inu. Oh, yeah. So that's that ko being thrown in there. Um, do you remember what this word is? That is kubi. Nice. And this guy? Uh, oki. Nice. 
Okay, so this is a little refresher of grammar, um, but I'm going to use the next page. But do you remember what buki to you inu meant? Or, yeah. Buki to inu. To you inu. You inu. So a dog called buki to. Yes. A dog called buki. Buki to you ko inu would be oh. a dog known as, uh, I mean, a puppy known as buki. Um. So this to right here can also turn into te. Um, this is called basically quotation to, but where this is where I'm going to be focusing on it being used as quotation. Um, can you read this sentence for me? Anigawa, uh, konnichiwa. <laughs> oh, aniwa. Yeah, I was like, why does it sound so weird? <laughs> aniga. <laughs> Arwa. Konnichiwa to yuta. Oh, you? You? You said Yuta. That's that's Yuta. two characters right here. Um. Ah, uh, what's it on its own? Eh? Doitsuta? Eh, it just be E. Yep. Ita. Doita. Anyway, konnichiwa to Ita. What does that mean? Um. And he said, hello. Yep, exactly. Uh, so this to is exact same as if we switched this for here with a small te. But however, this is used with the narrator. See, we had Annie said hello. Over here, someone's quoting someone in speech. So could you read this for me? Mm. Uh, konnichiwa. De itta wa yo. Yep. This means I've already said hello, you know. Mo konnichiwa te itta wa yo. Already said, konnichiwa, you know. Konnichiwa. So that's when te. So te is used when someone's talking, and to is used um, by the narrator. Mm. Uh, so next is daro. So daro normally denotes like probably or should. Um, for example, ame ga furu daro, which means it's probably going to rain to rain soon or rain today. Machigai, machigai nai daro, which is there's no mistaking, probably. There shouldn't be probably. any mistake. Um, it just adds a little bit of vagueness. However, this can also be used in a way to say, like, didn't I? Like, didn't I already say that? Which I was wondering if you could try making that with daro, because you have all the grammar points, even though you haven't seen this exact hmm. production. Daro. We have sort it and I you say that. say that. Didn't I say that? All right. Um, so there was you that are all you did that or you that are sounds better. Pretty close. You so that does this does this look a little bit weird right here? It does. Hmm. What what is extra here that should not be in that word? Hmm. I want to say the da. It's da. actually the oo. Oh, it's just ita. Um, ita, uh, ita daro. Yeah. Ita daro is already said that. Ita daro. So, uh, oh, ita daro. Do, do, do. so, tara. I think this is the first time we've seen tara. But tara is one of those if when statements. So in Japan, they don't, they have a lot of grammar that is like, like it, and is also like when in English. And it just depends on context, which translation you're going to use. Um, mm. Tada is this conditional, the, this version of if, when, that provides, this needs to be, this once this is fulfilled, this this is like allowed to, this, this happens. It kind of, ha it's similar to to, but this is more personal. So to is almost like the law of the universe. It's like, um, like uh, thinking of a sentence on top of my head, but like um, if you did five plus five equals ten, that if you, you that to would be in there because that's just how it is. When you yeah. add five to five, you get ten. You can't use tada here because this is too factual. Tada needs to have a little small amount of a personal connotation. For example, means if I study, 
or specifically after I studied, I got tired is what this is saying. Um, while over here, it says, um, skaru, which is, um, the, this is in um, future tense or habitual, which is if I study, I'll get tired. So this is when mm. it's an F and this is when it's a win. When, yeah. So when I studied, I got tired afterwards. Got it that. Um, but there's a little bit of a personal component here because even though this happened because you studied, you got tired, there's a certain level of personal of like, not everybody gets tired when they study. Some people could just study and not be tired at all. You know, it's not like a law of the universe that every yeah. time you study something, you're going to be tired. But you prob but most people would agree with the statement. So that's like that personal component in here. Um, so how what if we said if we get caught, we will be killed? Bareru is basically to be caught, found out, and korosu is to kill, and korosareru is to be killed. To be killed. If we get caught, we will get killed. Um oops. But it up. So there's already a thought there, so like mm. Boretara. Yep. Kusa Kuraseru. Kuros Kuros Koroseru. Perfect. Korosareru. Perfect. Yep. If we get caught, we will be killed. So if there was a toll here. That would be like we're in some kind of magical situation where basically like right when you get caught, an instant death. Like you're playing instant a video game. Like if you're yeah. playing a video game or something. But over here, we're allowing them to be some, you know, human error, you know. Perhaps he's being metaphorical or maybe they actually won't be killed. But he, he basically saying if we get caught, that that will happen. Probably. Maybe they could fight him off. <laughs> it helps give that looseness um okay so this is jack talking what does he say um she no she yep Shh. oh yes kakani rukoto ga beru beri beri so this earlier what's so Berita. so be would look like this so this is beru. Beru. It does look a similar to beru, but it's not beru. We saw this word just a second ago on this page. If we get caught. Bareru. Yes. So here's bare. Bareta. Baretara. Mazuite. Uh, itta daro. You know what mazui means? Mazui is difficult. Yeah. Or in this case, more like bad or it would suck yeah bye kind of yes yeah bye sometimes i th i believe mazui can be used if you eat food and it tastes disgusting or it sounds similar to that mm. <laughs> um okay so what does this mean hmm. so here is you koto ga so in this place, barata, baratara. If we get caught, mazuite, mazuite, yutadaro, yutadaro. If we get caught, you know what ita means? To say. And we have this right here, which is the quoting marker. So. He said, er, so he said, koko ni iru koto ga baretara mazui. Oh, mazui. All right. So it's bad if we get caught. Yes. And then he had this daro here. Why is this here, do you think? Uh, it's like, probably. It'll be bad. Yeah. But specifically, this this this, this daro is actually modifying the ita. Like, didn't I say? But there's no negative form here. So he's saying, like, like be quiet didn't i say the that i was like didn't i say that that or i sh you should have heard me say that um if we get caught it would be bad right so um it does normally mean like 
probably an if, but over here it's being used to modify the ita, which sounds weird with that the normal um probably if definition, but it makes sense if you think about it. So, mm. so didn't I already say that? Didn't I already didn't I already say that um if we get caught that would be bad? So he's basically saying you should know this already. Can you read this for me? Uh, 考える. Yes. You know what this means? To think. Nice. Do you know how this is different than omo? Mm, omo is like, uh, like you're thinking deeply, I mm, guess. Not really deeply. If I was thinking about, if I asked you what five plus five equals, and you were getting to the answer, would you use kangairu for that or omo for that? Yes, so you know it. <laughs> um, so this is what. Wait, sorry. Annie is now talking. What does she say? Uh, dare ni bareru no. Sore ni koko wa toko na no. Toko na no. So these no's are just kind of like feminine question markers, basically. Um, they they make it into like Question. he doesn't yeah it, it's it's very feminine in this kind of thing. so dare ni bareru no you know what dare means uh someone yeah or who sorry so like who? what do you think dare ni bareru no means uh who will get caught close it actually this ni is saying who's gonna catch us. So Dang. if we're getting caught, who's going to be doing the catching? Is kind of what that's saying. Um. Then it says sore ni. What's that telling us? So like that means or just that? That's a good guess, like a beautiful guess, but it actually means also randomly enough. Ah. Uh. So she's saying not only who the heck is going to go catch us, koko wa doko na no? So where is here? So exactly. where am I? Where are where are we? Yep. And then what does Jack say in, re in response to that? Sore o ima. O ima. Sore o ima. Uh, kaiteru. Close. Kangai. Oh, kangai. Nda. So, do you know what ima means? Uh, now. Yes. Sore o ima kangaite iru. What does that mean? Sore o ima kangai. Hmm. So, right now we need to think, but there's mm. the, so it's different. So, theoretically, it could be we, me, but he means I. Um. So, he's saying right now, I am thinking about sore. And what's the sore referring to? Uh, koko wa doko na. Yes. So where are we? Exactly. So you're saying, I'm thinking about that right now. Uh, where where are we? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Um, And what's, what's this word again? Kangairu. Nice. So over here, we have an o for what he's thinking rather than a to. This is because to is like for like direct quotes. So he didn't say sore earlier. The thing he's thinking of is koko ni wa doko da. So since it's not a direct quote, we can't use to. To. Mm. Uh, okay, remember this guy? Uh, ko. Perfect. And this guy? Uh, kangaeru. This guy? That is kubi. Nice. And this guy? That's oki. This guy. That is uh, me. Perfect. Nice. And what does this word mean? That is yobu. To call someone. Or just yeah. to call out. To call. Um, what's this one? That is... Do, 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 that is e. Yes, and what does emmy? This is homono. Yes, this one is homono. Uh, what does e mean? It means painting. 
Nice. And how about this word? That is uh, a train with a tit. What was that again? Yes. I called it a bus. Like you're going to get hit a by the bus. bus. Boop, boop. Hmm. Well, if you're stand, if the bus is, I was like, how to say this without saying the word. A bus is moving toward you. What does that mean? Uh towards. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is like to come. Ah. Uh... So if a bus is coming toward you, um, so. Annie ignores Jack, and what does she do? Uh, konnichiwa, Annie ga mo ichido uh, yobi kakita. Nice. So, hello, Annie. One more time, called out. Perfect. So this right here is atama. 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 You know what atama means? Uh your head. Yes, atama. Um, right over here. Does that look familiar? It looks the same as your neck. Could it be. looks similar to the neck, but it's actually not the same. But it's close enough that it, I feel like it's gonna remember it that way. Um, this actually is Paige. Oh, <laughs> which you wouldn't know, but the reason, but I did want you to point that out to you, just because it looks like neck. So it's good enough for you remembering it that way. Yeah. Neck neck looks very slightly different. Um neck is um boop 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 like that. <laughs> oh, it's the other way. Okay. Yeah. I, I always have to draw it like backwards for some reason. <laughs> Cause I always like it's like it, no, don't do it the way I normally do. <laughs> don't, don't do that. <laughs> but this is that's the way you're supposed to run it. But it's just it's easier for me to remember being like, hey, I got I got my head and then I gotta draw the neck and the body. <laughs> Hi. Okay. So what happened? Oh uh, no. Um Utawa no don putera don ka. Nice. Huh. So I word? did atama over here. Uh but this is a here word over there is actually cow. <laughs> Which I don't know how I didn't notice that. Cow. Cow. You, they, they do look pretty similar. So I guess that's I didn't look at it very, very closely. They both have that page for some reason on the left corner. But cow is the face part of your atama. So your atama is your whole head. Your cow is where your eyes, your nose, and your mouth is. So this is your, your face. cow. 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 Now. Now you can restart. <laughs> uh, potato don ga cow o ageta oishiete koko wa doko na no? Hmm. So Pterodon's face is rising. Ashiete. Yep. Oshiete. I'll show you <laughs> that the Pterodon's face is rising. So I'll show you would be Oshiete Ageru. However, ah. this is just in te form. Te form with nothing added to it is not I'll do something. It is an order. Like Oshiete Kurasai. But over here is oshiete, so teach me, or in this case, tell me. Tell me, mm. koko wa doko na no? Koko wa doko na no? Which where is, am tell I? me, where are we? It could be where am I, but just because she's with Jack, we would be more natural. It would be we, yeah. Yeah. So this agita just means it looked upward. It moved its head upward, but it looked up would make sound better in English. So. Um, yeah. How is it read though? Um, but there are long got all that kanji. Uh, kao o. Nice. Good job. So, um, we're actually going to quickly um exit this zoom meaning and click another zoom meaning. Should take one mm -hmm. second. I'm like, how do I do that again? 